Good evening. The ASU Preparatory Academy is one of the many charter schools mentioned in this report. The ACLU looked at nearly 500 charter schools across the state, schools that are supposed to be free and open to the public. They found more than half had illegal or discriminatory policies in the enrollment process. I think the whole philosophy and the whole spirit of what charter schools were about has been hijacked. Six years ago, Jackie Solomon wanted to enroll her twin boys in the ASU Preparatory Academy. She says her boys got in, but when she told the school her boys had special needs, the school told them they couldn't attend. And unfortunately, we have no more seats for children with the needs that your children have. All I could think is, they can't do this. Capping the number of students who have special education needs is a violation of state and federal law very clearly. Steve Kalar of the ACLU says they found six Arizona charter schools with caps on students with disabilities. They also found nearly 60 charters improperly disqualified or discouraged students who had passed suspensions. And they found at least 88 charter schools with questionable academic requirements. Saying that you have to submit a transcript before you can enroll, um, saying that you have to take a tour of the school and do an interview. None of that um, is appropriate under Arizona law. For Jackie Solomon, those policies were hurtful. To have these people take it, tell our children, you're not worthy, you're not good enough, we don't want you here. It's very sad. Statement ASU acknowledged that Jackie Solomon's case was not handled in a manner that was consistent with their procedures. They say they addressed and corrected that issue and they welcome all students. But the Arizona School Board Association issued a very different response in response to the ACLU report. They called the report a hit piece. They say it had spurious and misleading allegations.